All right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, so Keith Thurman, of course, he comes out, you know, after the smoke is clear, and he decides to start talking junk about Errol Spence Jr., okay? Now, he came out in the interview, and he started talking about how, you know, Sean was just uppercutting Errol to death, and, you know, he had a better performance against Sean than Errol, and, Yada, 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 yada. Look, man, we've heard this from Keith Thurman before, okay? Keith Thurman right now is very irrelevant, okay? Look, Keith Thurman, you, you got knocked out. You got knocked down by a 40-year-old man. You got beat up by 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao passed his prime, okay? Pacquiao trying to, you know, he looked at you as, like, really another stone on his legacy. Because he saw that you wasn't, sh sorry. Pacquiao felt that you wasn't a fighter that you once was and he proved us right like how can you sit in here and talk first of all you duck Daryl Spence okay you said uh I ain't fighting him this year and I ain't gonna fight him in 2019 and, and, and heck I might not fight him in 2020 like these are Keith Thurman's own words he said this not me okay and I know we still got some of these Thurman lovers man Keith Thurman is a fool okay he's a fool and he's also food he also didn't want no part of Terrence Crawford but you wanted a part of 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao, and you got your ass whooped. Trust me, if you fight Errol Spence, you're going to be on one knee holding your stomach, okay? You're going to be holding your liver, my friend, if you fight Errol Spence Jr. You see, the thing of it is, man, Keith Thurman knows that he's irrelevant right now. He knows that ain't nobody really talking about him. If they if they are talking about Keith Thurman, they're making fun of the fact that, that you got put on your ass by a 40-year-old Pacquiao. A 40-year-old who, you know, for all intents and purposes, he's well past his prime. Okay, he's extremely past his prime. And he went in there, even still gassed out, and still outworked Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is a nobody, y'all. And this is what happened when nobody, is they give nobody a mic. Okay, you just don't know where to come out. Keith Thurman is also a coward. How you gonna be a coward? First of all, how you gonna duck the man, and then you hating on him at the same time? See, we predicted that Errol Spence would take your shine. He's a 147-pound uh, star. I don't care how you slice it or dice it. Errol Spence is that guy. You're not, Keith. Okay, Manny Pacquiao beat you into the broadcast booth. He beat you into the booth. And, of course, Keith Thurman said, yep, I gave uh, Sean Porter almost every round. You know, I, I got to start looking at this. Okay, so you gave Sean Porter almost every round. I mean, how so? Because clearly you, clearly you weren't watching the fight. Like he said, he darn near gave Sean damn near every round. I, I don't understand this, okay? Let, let's take a look at the round-by-round round analytics, okay? Here we go. Now, either Keith Thurman blind. As a matter of fact, it ain't just Keith Thurman. It's a lot of you dudes are lying. I mean, y'all blind. Y'all blind as hell. I mean, even if, you, if you, even if you look at the punch stats, you can see who was landing more each round, okay? I mean, I gave four rounds to Sean Porter. No more, okay? Sean Porter, to me, did not win no more than four of these rounds. Okay, some of the rounds, they were close, okay? But even if you look at the punch stats right now, you know, Errol Spence damn near outlanded Sean in every round, man. I'm talking about damn near outlanded the man in every single round. It is what it is, man. Sean Porter cannot compete technically with Errol Spence. And, of course, the technical fighter won. Sean Porter struggles with these technical fighters, man. He do. But... They asked Keith Thurman, well, who do you think did better, you or L. Spence against Sean Porter? Keith said, oh, oh, yeah, well, me. Really? Really? Really, Keith, you did? Um, okay, well, I mean, you didn't get a knockdown on Sean Porter. Okay, um, <laughs> you know, you laid against the ropes for multiple rounds trying to catch a breather because Sean was killing your body so bad. Okay, you couldn't even keep Sean off of you. Errol Spence could. I mean, how do you assume that you had a better fight? I mean, Keith Thurman, you damn near lost your fight against Sean. You damn near lost your fight against Sean. And then all these people that keep saying that Errol Spence got exposed. Well, wait, wait a minute. How did Errol Spence get exposed? I mean, please, please help me. How did he get exposed? Because first, a lot of people and some of you haters or you guys that just don't like Errol Spence for whatever reasons, okay? We know why you don't like him. But for whatever reason, you don't like Errol Spence, okay? How did he get exposed? Because first you say he need to be tested. Well, he got tested. And now all of a sudden he gets tested and he gets exposed. How are you going to explain this? I mean, how are some of you idiots going to explain all this? 
how are some of you stinking breath not washing up but having uh, dues in five days gonna explain all this I right, guys I, <laughs> you can't so he's never been tested by anybody on his resume I mean a lot of you dudes took the credit away when he beat Kell Brook oh he was already damaged goods okay I mean he was already damaged goods didn't get no credit for uh, fighting Chris Algieri no credit for Bundu none of that right no credit for Mikey Garcia Mikey was too small so he fights the fighter that's his size and don't say Errol was bigger because Sean Porter actually you know Sean Porter has fought at bigger weight classes so we can't say that Errol was big and Sean looked bigger than Errol in the fight he finally fights somebody who's actually his size they go head to head they get into a war and now he got exposed you know unbelievable man unbelievable he gets exposed but can we think about this who in the hell has ever ran through Sean Porter who like really somebody y'all give me a fighter who has run through Sean Porter and then these people these Terrence Crawford fans y'all are even worse the Terrence Crawford fans are even dumber man they dumber than Keith Thurman they dumber than everybody that hate Errol Spence the Terrence Crawford's fan like y'all they, these are some of the dumbest fans on God's green earth the Terrence Crawford's fan man them, them guys got stupid written all over them um when you think about this okay Sean Porter would do the same thing as Terrence Crawford I mean nobody walks through Sean Porter we know this okay we know this now nobody walks through Sean Porter okay he would make it a tough fight with Terrence Terrence would have to find a way to box Sean Porter he had to find a way to do it okay he's not gonna go in there he's not gonna be able to keep the fight at a distance okay Kell Brook tried that didn't work out Keith Thurman tried that it didn't work out Sean Porter is too athletic he's too fast he's gonna close the distance very fast Sean Porter can take an unusual amount of punishment man the guy can get hit and just keep coming forward the guy gets knocked down and he keeps coming forward okay this guy can take an unusual amount of punishment okay do y'all think the fight gonna be different with with, with uh, Terrence Crawford it's not if Sean Porter were to fight Terrence Crawford I'm telling you it's gonna be the same result Terrence Crawford is gonna be fighting to keep Sean off off of him and keep Thurman so stupid he couldn't keep Sean off of him Errol Spence could Errol Spence kept a sustained body attack Keith Thurman couldn't keep Sean off him he couldn't do it see Keith Thurman is an idiot man this guy's irrelevant he's been irrelevant Manny Pacquiao you got beat up by a 40 year old man okay you got beat up by somebody who's well out of his prime and you thought that you were going to cherry pick Manny Pacquiao well Manny Pacquiao went in there and beat the hell out of Keith Thurman that's what happened Keith you got beat up by Manny Pacquiao you got dropped by Manny Pacquiao 40 year old Manny Pacquiao past his prime this man you know what this man been doing politics in the Philippines man and he come back in the box and, and school you okay like an OG should Pacquiao schooled you Keith Thurman he schooled you and you ain't got nothing to say for yourself all oh, well, 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 well you know they'll go fight and all well you know Keith you got beat up okay you got embarrassed like why is this guy talking why is Keith Thurman even talking this man should have nothing to say Keith Thurman you're the laughing stock of boxing like right now you're the laughing stock like don't nobody take you serious man the fans don't even take you got people rolling up off the street coming up to you uh, disrespecting you Keith nobody takes you serious man and after you got your ass with my Pacquiao as seen in the photograph I can't take you serious nobody in the boxing community takes you serious Keith because we know that you don't want to fight Crawford I mean we know yeah you don't want to fight Crawford you don't want to fight Spence we know and oh and another thing is anybody even calling for a Sean Porter rematch? Think about all these fights Sean done had. Think about these fights, man. Is anybody calling for a Sean rematch? No, none that I can remember. Okay, ain't nobody trying to rematch Sean Porter. Why? Because the man's style is brutal. And you know what? He beats you down. He mauls you. Okay, you, you just, you know, people don't want to do that back to back. You didn't want to do it, Keith. Yeah, Terrence Crawford said he don't even want to fight him. And then, you know, Crawford fans, whoa, Crawford, oh, he'll school Spence after this. So the guy can't have a tough fight. It's unbelievable, man. Errol Spence Jr. can't win with you people. He can't win, man. He's damned if he do, and he's damned if he don't. He fight a tough fight, he got exposed. He fight a fight that he dominates, oh, he ain't fighting good opponents. It's crazy. It's crazy. Errol Spence Jr. won this fight, y'all. He won this fight eight rounds to four. And I don't care who or what says anything about it. Spence won the fight to me. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harris, and I'm done. And guys, we don't support cowards. Look at this coward. I'm done.